happy Thursday. We're back. Story read aloud and daily comprehension questions. Okay, today we're going to be using one of our old textbooks because Mrs. White says everything. So I have tons of books at home. Lucky you. Today's story is the plane trip. Okay, the focus question is what can you do when you are on a plane? What does the ground look like from a plane way up in the air? Camera, go ahead and come all the way around here. She's getting that bell. All right, here we go. The plane trip. And remember when we're doing story comprehension, this is when I model fluency and we do echo reading. I'm not going to sound out all the words. Here we go. The plane trip. Look, there's your plane. Hurry. Echo. The pilot is ready and so is the flight attendant. I'm gonna break that up into a chunk. The pilot is ready and so is the flight attendant. Echo. She will help you, Echo. Hook your seat belt. Up, up, you go, Echo. Did your ears pop? Echo. And whole sentence. The pilot is ready and so is the flight attendant. She will help you hook your seat belt. Up, up, you go. Did your ears pop? High above the fluffy clouds, the towns look like tiny dots. On the plane, you can eat lunch, see a movie, or sleep. The flight attendant will get a blanket and a pillow for you. Here we go. High above the fluffy clouds, echo. High above the fluffy clouds. Oops, I said it. Echo, you echo. The towns look like tiny dots. On the plane, echo. You can eat lunch, echo. See a movie, Echo, or sleep, Echo. The flight attendant, Echo, will get a blanket, Echo, and a pillow for you, Echo. Time to wake up. The wheels of your plane go down. Bump! Your plane lands and slowly comes to a stop. Time to wake up, Echo. The wheels of your plane go down, Echo. Bump, Echo. Your plane lands, Echo. And slowly comes to a stop, Echo. Do you know who is going to meet you at the airport? Graham, that's who. And Graham is another name for Grandma. I think I told you guys my grandma was called Graham Cracker. She was my Graham Graham, so I called her my Graham Cracker. Here we go. Do you know, Echo, who is going to meet you, Echo, at the airport, Echo? A little shiny. There we go. Graham, that's who. All right, so let's look at the beginning of the story. That's the end of the story. Back to the beginning. In the beginning of the story, they're getting ready to go on a plane trip. Here's dad and the daughter. I just said in the story, a girl, okay, but it is his daughter, we assume, that they're in the same family. So that's dad and his daughter, a little girl, and they're packed and ready to go on an airplane. And the pilot's ready, they're hooking their seat belt, ears are popping, that happens when they're going up a higher elevation. It messes with our ears, our ears start popping. And there's the man on the ground that tells them it's time for liftoff, okay? And here they're actually flying and they're looking out the window, they can eat lunch, see a movie, or sleep. The flight attendant is kind of like a waitress. It's like a waitress on the plane. They can even get a pillow and blanket for you and if the flight is long enough, they can take a nap. Time to wake up. Oh, they did take a nap. They went to sleep. 
The wheels of the plane go down, so they let the plane wheels come down. The wheels plane tuck up. Excuse me, the plane. Ugh, the, the wheels of the plane tuck up when the plane is flying, and they let the wheels come down when they're getting ready to come back on the tarmac. And this is where Mr. White works. He works at FedEx, and he helps receive, bring in the plane. He did that in the military, and he does it with a FedEx plane too. So planes and chickens. That's all Mr. White does. All right, and it does come down with a little bit of a bump. Then they get off the airplane. They walk into the terminal. The terminal is part of the airport, Terminal C, and they're all labeled. It could go all the way to Terminal Z, okay? They have many different gate numbers, too. So the terminal tells them where to go. The gate number tells them where to go. And we can infer and draw a conclusion. We can figure out, but using the clues, that they flew to where Grandma lives to visit Grandma. All right, to your story comprehension questions, the answers are on Class Dojo. Bye-bye.